Welcome back to Death Must Die and today we take the army of the undead to death himself. We have bonus skeletons right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, and that's it. Okay, I couldn't find more, but it's honestly quite a lot. Like, especially this one, 24, and the most recent one we found, 8. Okay, that, that is quite a lot, and yeah, they all count together. So I will try to make a build that is mostly about summons. Oh, I totally forgot about this. Look at something amazing I found. So, Onyx Dragon, Onyx Dragon, Onyx Dragon, Onyx Dragon, Onyx Dragon, yes, I have now five Onyx Dragon equipment for a single character. This means we can have one more dragon than ever before. Oh, that's a perfect start because, well, I don't have a lot of rerolls and banishes because we are forced into the equipment. And you may say now, but Mr. Dex, you amazing, intelligent, beautiful being of a human. Uh, yeah, okay, let's be honest, you wouldn't say that. Like, who says Mr. on YouTube, right? That That's not something that happens. Now, you may say, wow. That's actually perfection. Uh, we got everything that I wanted. Yeah, you may say, like, how do we do this, right? Because skeletons are well known to be the weakest link in the entirety of Death Must Die. I don't think there's anything worse. <laughs> you know, they clump up. They don't really know how to focus the enemies. We are playing on the highest difficulty. So, uh, yeah, how do we do this? Well, quite simple. As usual, we'll go for a lot of experience. We'll go for mayhem. We'll scale them up. But I have an additional challenge or whatever restriction, whatever you want to call it. I am not a lot no 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 i'm look that's perfect that's perfect that is exactly what i'm looking for yes i'm looking for spell speed because we'll just scale up the damage as much as possible and see how we can perform now an alternative would have been spell damage because that kind of multiplies the damage a little bit of them but i think it will just be better that we cast our spells more and uh yeah that's mostly about the summoner scaling damage right now we will go for ravens because we need a trigger for cursed i could have went for weapon with that but then we would have lost the skeletons you know that's not so great can you guys can you guys <laughs> look, look at the entire army chasing him down <laughs> he's faster than them actually that's a little bit sad that's that's okay interesting okay that is like on you know what i will actually use the alteration hopefully we get to that would be super good but i will actually go to you exactly so uh, i need to banish more is the problem do I even want to banish a time field? Um, I will banish the warp strike. I will keep this around because I may need that just to survive. Hello there, my friend. Uh, we'll go for the alteration ritual. Yeah, that sounds good. Because that could upgrade everything that we own. No, that's amazing. And I think we actually want to have spell duration because as far as I know, this does affect how long the skeletons stay around. Not these ones that we have from the equipment. They are permanent. But the ones that we'll summon in the future. And yes, that means for the first time, I will not banish Necromancer, the skill that spawns them. But... I will actually use it. This time, we'll use it. Create a ginormous army. I definitely do not regret this video. Oh, careful there, careful there, careful there. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. We are kind of... We are kind of doing this. I like them. That's good. Ravens. Necromancy. Um... Huh. So the problem with... I'll go for the ravens here. The problem with necromancy is they don't apply the curse stack. And I really need to get this going. And now we have summoner. So what I'll do is I will roll in hopes... Uh, oh yeah, I need that as well. Oh, there's so much that I need. Gem high force. Honestly, I'll just pick the gem high here. My biggest thing or my biggest issue will be I have to deal with bosses, okay? And because we do not go for the ghosts that deal a percent HP of the enemies to their, like, as damage, uh, it will be a little bit difficult to survive. And this time I do not have a single revival, okay? I'm super squishy. So if a boss tickles me, I'll most likely just die. So we hope for the best. And by hope for the best, I mean that I'll just run around and scream and hope that the skeletons take care of the boss somehow magically. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Okay, there's a tomb. Uh, we don't need that. So we started with the sign of the summoner. That means our skeletons, they'll get a huge amount of bonus damage. But what I really need to get going is just to summon bonus damage. And honestly, the next time it shows up, I think I'll just take it, even if it's common quality. That's just how it is then. But I want to get it going because we have gem high. And as you can see, this gives skill speed for limited duration. And that will just mean that things get cast more often. You know, especially attack increases for summons, which is quite good. Okay, I'm... Oh, that, that's actually a good one. Oh, I need so many things, though. Oh, you are the one that I'm looking for. Summoner, I'll roll once, okay? Um, 
Yeah, that's exactly what I had in mind. Okay, let's go for wisdom, I guess. <laughs> it's a low level, you know, but, but it's, it's something. It's, it's something. Hey, more adept offers. I guess that's better than nothing, right? Yeah, sure, let's do that. It's a little bit hard to sometimes see what are the enemies, what are my skeletons. Ah, uh, we gotta make this even bigger. Okay, mayhem, that is exactly what I was looking for. Perfect, perfect. Ooh, that means our ravens can now stack up our bonus damage. Doesn't work all too well while we are shooting and we have an army of skeletons around. Ooh, that is not bad. But, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a bonus sometimes. Uh, God of Time, please get the scaling in. Perfect. It's, oh, 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 oh. Okay, from the alteration, we got bonuses here and I need to use them right now. Oh, that is actually bad. You know what? I will roll here in hopes that we manage to get the summoner. Um, okay, you know what? I'll get rid of that. Summoner? Okay, blue blue summoner is good. The alternative would have been if I didn't get it there, like a good one, not a basic one, I would have used the temporary alterations to go to someone else and banish stuff there that we don't want, like the sickle and things like that. But you know what? This is good enough. I like it. That is a good start. So how many skeletons can you have in this game? Well, as far as I figured, there's not really a limit to it. The limit is how fast you kill enemies because then there's a chance to summon them. You know, I think, is, is there a chance or do you always get them? I actually have to read the skill because believe it or not, I never checked it out. So uh, let's use this while we can. You raise skeletons when you kill a number of enemies. Okay, you need to kill a certain number of enemies. Um... I honestly, I'll just go for the ravens here though. Because, well, I should have banished the soul stealer, right? We know that I'm not going for that, and now we have no banishes and alterations left. Yeah, it just ended. So, that's not great. I gotta wait until it returns. Nice! Okay, the slime fight was very, very easy, <laughs> believe it or not, with that many skeletons. It's not very hard, and that is beautiful. Spell speed, 11%. Amazing. Air dealing. I just saw 100 there almost, like 98. Wait, how are they dealing so much damage already? Um, I'm sure the math maths out, okay? Listen, nothing in this game is ever questionable at all. Okay, Necromancy Purple, that is just beautiful. So they will last for 32 seconds, they are super slow. Wait, 150? Let's check this out, so you are 230. Yeah, the skeletons that I have are straight up just a better version of these. That's a little bit weird because mine are permanent and better and the temporary one they are just worse. Okay, that doesn't really make sense. Okay, so without the ghost this will be a little bit difficult because we have to defeat the bosses at 7 minutes. And the ravens, they are not horrible, you know, they can kind of do it, but on the high... Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? On the high difficulty that we are playing on, this will be hard to do. Actually, we have quite a lot of skeletons around now. Look at this. Not that they really kill anything, but, you know, numbers count. Uh, um, uh, hmm. oh, I don't even want the alteration ritual, so I'll just go for the force, I guess. Uh, reason being, the longer you make it, the longer it takes to get the same stuff again. Like, you can't get something you already have picked in the game, or banished, or you got that by the alteration ritual. The last one I'm not 100% sure of. Okay, okay, how are we doing? How are we doing? That's actually... That's actually... Okay, you have no idea how bad I thought this would be. So this is actually quite impressive how we are doing. Even though I feel like the ravens are doing a majority of the work. Um, I mean, actually that can't be the ravens. Wait a second. That is impressive. Wait, where is, where is all of this coming from? I have to ke be careful, by the way, because I can get almost one shot here. Like, they easily deal 50 damage to me, and that just means the skeletons will stick around forever. Perfect. It should affect them, at least. Like, for most of these things, I'm not 100% sure. Huh? Big surprise. I haven't played it, so, like, I have never used them, so I don't know it exactly, but it makes sense. They have a duration. <gasps> a magnet. Okay, 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 that could be a huge amount of experience, because that is the first magnet since forever. Uh, brevity, nice. Oh, we got another legend, beautiful, temporary again. I'll just keep saying that in case someone thinks the alteration ritual is too broken. Okay, it is broken, but I just want to say that, that you don't think it just stays around. Oh, hey, look at this. Okay, so this is an interesting question now. Do we want to make them last longer just for the memes? I think I'll actually do one of them at least. Like, okay, so the thing is, you obviously want to have them stronger, but visually pleasing is a ginormous amount of skeletons, right? And the way the stats work in this game is... Oh, um... 
nah, let's go for that. The way stats work in this game is the shrine stuff that you pick up is multiplicative with what you have on your character. And that means you want to have a lot of good stats just from the stage. I guess it also means I wanted to summon damage there, right? Yeah, but you know, it looks a lot more impressive if you have more skeletons around. So let's just keep going with the amount. Now that is a beautiful upgrade. How much damage do we have right now? We have 234 summon damage. We have 120% car speed. Okay, um, that, that is quite nice. And you have 102% bonus damage. That means the damage is just doubled on the skeletons. How much do you deal? Uh, 100? I think it's always 100 now. They seem to have a very big range of damage. And I guess we also have two different kinds of skeletons we should keep in mind. The one from the equipment and the one that I summon. Yeah. It would be great if I would finally get to upgrade them, you know, just saying. Um, I think I will go for force here. We kind of want to make sure that I level up as much as possible right now. And then we will go to upgrade the summons, right? Because what we are doing is we are just buffing them up for the future right now with the scaling over time. And then we will make sure that we have a ton of them around. Okay, this is not good. Um, these skeletons do not kill anything. <laughs> like, they can deal with the weak enemies, but look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is not good. You know, I'm saying this is not good because this means we'll have a super long necromancer fight. And if they can't even protect me from, like, slightly tanky enemies, then how do I deal with the necromancer, like his projectiles, and also the enemies? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good question. I don't know. Wait, how many projectiles do I have right now? <laughs> Look at this. We just got plus six projectiles here. Oh, that is insane. Oh, that is straight up insane. That is just beautiful. Oh, I would like to get this more often. It's so sad that it's temporary, but yeah. Uh, force... Guys, do you see that? It's purple. Do you know what it means that it's purple? It was blue before. So this means we have... Pandemonium! All the rarities are upgraded, so you're now purple. You're now blue? That's it? Okay. Okay, I mean, it saves me a lot of level ups, you know, but this is actually kind of sad. Like, <laughs> we didn't really upgrade anything to red. You can't upgrade to red in this game. This is why I'm always looking for red. But the good thing is now, if we ever get it again, then this means we just upgrade everything to red. You know, just saying. H happened in the last video. Could happen again. That will be a lot of skeletons. Ooh, there will be a lot of skeletons. Ooh, there will be a lot, a lot of skeletons. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, guys, the skeleton army. Skeleton army. <laughs> Protect me, please. Um, um, okay, okay. Do we have a bunch of skeletons now? Does this look more like before? I'm not even sure if they can spawn skeletons because they are technically elites, right? I was told. Uh, no, that... That doesn't look like I have a lot of skeletons. <laughs> the entire army just down there fighting. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay, these slimes. Okay, we have vampirism, I think. I don't see vampirism here, actually. Not too sure why I heal so much right now. I'm not complaining, though. Because that is free healing. You know, healing is free healing. There we go. We just got multi level ups. Nice. Necromancy. Yeah, let's make them. What just. Okay. I, I, I'll not complain about that. That was nice. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so many skeletons around! Look at this! <laughs> Just wait for minute 19. Oh, that will be dirty. We'll get so many skeletons. Jesus, because that is the real spam wave. Okay, there's nothing that we need. I have to get going. I, the only thing I'm really sad about is the stuff. I'm not really getting good shrines. Ouch. That hurt. W w what is this army? <laughs> I can't wait to see 19. But I need to get the spell speed going before that. So let's make sure that I get spell duration up. Yeah, force is sure, but like we'll go for the deadlock. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. That was actually quite a tanky Don't boss they just took care of there. That is amazing. Let's go for the haste here. Okay. 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 Sure. Um, oh, and warping. Nice. Okay, careful, careful. I don't know. You may notice I'm starting to get less and less concerned here right now because we have such a ginormous army and they just deal a lot of damage. That is uh, spell speed. Beautiful. That's what I was looking for mostly in the very beginning. Okay, there is the necromancer. Now, can I just hide inside of the army that I have and shoot at him to just... Um, 
I, um, what, what, what just happened there? Uh, where's my chest? Wait, huh? What? I, I guess he teleported at the final second or something like that. That was weird. Um, okay, well, that worked way better than I thought it would. Um, yeah, not gonna lie, that worked way, way better than I thought it would. Wait, what? I was so concerned about this, but I guess there was no need to be concerned about it. Okay. I would have loved to have the legend from the undead god that we get, like, the, the stuff that spreads, the, the status effects that we have, just to get more damage from Mayhem, because right now the damage on Mayhem is only 10%. Oh god, that is totally wasted. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. Wow, that was so not worth it. That is insane. I mean, th the thing is, the ravens need to do something, and they are really slow. As you can see, they don't really get to do anything, so, yeah. No, there was just one. Those were four. <laughs> what is happening there? Um, okay, this gets a little bit complicated. Like, how do I deal with this? Oh, 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 oh. Um, okay. Yeah, ranged enemies will be a big problem. This is why I would like to have at least one revival. That would be great. I guess I just have to keep shooting, and for later, we'll just hope for the best, I guess. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. This is, this is a bit too spicy. 16 minutes. What is, like, a difficult wave? I think we will... Ooh, nice armor. I think we'll have it easy at 17 minutes, because the enemies are just quite slow. I do believe 18 could be very hard. It depends if our skeletons will actually go for the ranged enemies and kill them or not. Um... Okay, that just happened. Wait, Ring of Summoners, summon damage? Yeah, but mine is better. I guess I could go... Oh, 566% summon damage. That is not bad. You know, with the low mayhem that we have, it's, it, we have to make up for that a little bit. Uh-huh. Um, guys. 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 Okay, so, 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 um, uh-huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is totally fine, this is totally fine, this is totally fine. I'm not concerned about minute 18. In case you're not aware, at minute 18, the enemies can freeze you when they hit you, and that means you can quickly die, <laughs> like, very quickly. You literally just get frozen, and then you'll get one-shot by others. Uh, force, I will... I guess I'll go for the alteration ritual. We are still focusing on the skeletons. Okay, no excuses, but I think I'll need something else as well. Oh, there we are. Oh, what are you? Isn't that useless, like it's luck or more heals? Yeah, we'll not do this. I'll not decrease the spell cooldown for more spell damage. I, I At this point, honestly speaking, I think at this point I may have been able to take it. But uh, we can scale up our summon damage so much at 19 minutes that I don't want to reduce it right now. Because we gain a huge amount of experience there, then Gem High gets triggered, gives us a huge amount of cooldown. So it sounds like a really bad idea to take that right now, right before it happens. Uh, I have to take it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I mean, makes sense. We are still a necromancer, you know? We summon skeletons and lightning strikes. Uh, makes sense to me. Okay, so reporting in for minute 17. It's... <sighs> Death is just... Yeah, glad that you finally decide to show up again, by the way. Just saying. It's really, really great that you show up so frequently. So, it, it was fine. It's not as simple as you may hope for it. I mean, I have a general skeleton now, look at this, okay? <laughs> but it was a little bit harder than I hoped it would be. 18 minutes. Oh, okay, I have to concentrate here. Literally, if they freeze me once, I can just get slammed and I'm dead. That was it. There is a red gem over... Okay. There's a red gem over there. Uh, lightning bolt, that is really not what I want to see. Can I at least, like, max out the... see it is very easy to die i almost died there i'm so sorry if we don't do it to the boss okay or if the boss just kills me this is not an optimal build you would usually go for i just wanted to see how powerful you can make the skeleton army and if you can win at 30 and if you don't win well then it was just not meant to be today okay 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 i think we got this what do you think oh mord thing okay so the problem is <laughs> we kind of really want to have that now, right before the skeleton, so I'll take it. Like, you don't really get experience out of minute 19 unless you have that. Even the main attack that I have, that is... I have splinters again. Yeah, look at this. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's only level 2. Okay, so it's not as much as it was before, the plus 6. 
Um, but that is actually amazing because the skeletons are about to appear. Okay, let's quickly kill this dude because the range guy here will be a problem, but there we go. This is the biggest skeleton army we'll ever have in our life. This will summon so many skeletons. So let's, let's see what happens, you know. Oh, uh-huh. Okay. Um, can, can someone please kill this dude down there? I hope he's dead. Okay. Uh, it's getting really laggy. I'm down to 30 FPS. This is fine, though. There's another skeleton dude. I actually have to dash downwards to him, but, like, I have to push my way through the skeletons. <laughs> this is just skeleton army fighting versus skeleton army. Uh, uh, oh, there he is. Okay, he died. Nice. So, so how many skeletons will we actually have at the end of this? Uh, they are about to end, by the way. Why are they still spawning? They are not meant to still spawn. Let's get the experience down here. Uh, force, I guess alteration ritual, doesn't matter anymore. Uh, lightning bolt, sure. Okay, there we go. So the stats right now are 710% summon damage. That is a lot. This is the worst timing ever to get vampirism. Okay, do you see that? My entire armor is gone. Not that I had a lot, but <laughs> there's vampirism. Okay. Now, a good thing is we have the combination of shatter. You know, chilled and frozen enemies, they just get executed. But we also have world freeze, which applies chilled, which we usually wouldn't be able to do. So that is an insane combination. Is it enough for the final boss without armor? I think he will tickle me and I'll just die. But look at my ginormous army, okay? So, the hardest part may just be to actually see what he's doing. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we did it! I, 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 okay, oh, I have to drop something. Uh, quickly, 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 quickly. I just dropped stuff. Um, wait, there, there is something that says Vigorous Dragon something. I need that. Vigorous Dragon Blade of something. Okay, that equipment actually looked amazing. We'll check this out in a moment. But um, we did it. We did it. We did it. Necromancy did 1.5 million damage. This is like never again. Never again. You know, I would say it was better than expected, but no, no, it wasn't. It was horrible. I was under tension the entire time. And I would say to chill for the next time, we'll chess play the dragons. So make sure that you're subscribed to not miss out on that. And if you want, give the video a like. But yeah, that was it for today. Uh, was, was there anything good in there? I don't think, right? Ice Rod of Ignoring, we don't care about that. Dragon Blade, yeah, totally useless. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.